In this session, I'm going to show you how to use a nested loop. So far, we've seen how to use a loop, um, which is our repeat instruction. You have a set of code, or you have a set of uh, lines of code inside of one repeat instruction. A nested loop is where you need to repeat the loop itself one more time. So let's start with sniffer1. Sniffer1 uses a basic loop. So let's go take a look and see what we need to do. It says, I try to find the places where there is some titanium ore in the subsoil. So here's a new instruction we learned, sniff. It says, for example, repeat five times the sequence sounding moving five meter forward. So we need to do a sniff, then you move forward five meters and you repeat that five times, it says. So let's go here and let's get rid of code that's here, we'll write it. So let's do our sniff instruction one time. Then it says move five units. And it says repeat this five times. So instead of copy and paste, we can simply say repeat. And I'm going to say I want to repeat that code five times. And if you run it, let's see what it finds. Okay, now let's do sniffer 2. Let's take a look at sniffer 2 where we have a larger area than what we just had. So notice we have a 25 by 25. So let's go into F1. It says cover the whole area, 25 by 25, in front and on your right. So if you have no idea how to do it, let's get started this way. It says repeat five times sounding and moving, just like we did before. Then it says turn right, move 5 meters forward, then you turn left and you do the same thing all over again. So let's see if we can do that. We go back here, we put the same code that we put in last time. So what we're going to do is we're going to say repeat 5 times this code that we did before. Okay, so let's see what that does for us. So it's going to sniff more forward and it's going to do that five times. So that's all we told it to do. Now let's go back into our code and our instruction says after that you turn to your right. So turn and if we need to turn right, we turn minus 90. Then we move forward 5, 5 units. Then I think we need to turn right again. And then we need to repeat 5 times this code. So let's see if we can, what happens if we put that repeat here. And let's take a look at that. Let's start over. And start from there. Tell it to go faster. So that's all we have done. Now, let's go take a look at our code. We need it to turn left and then another left and go back. So you can do a couple of different things. So if you come in here, one time it turns right. If it turns right again, it's not going to be good because it is going to come around this way. So let's write our code a little differently. So instead of turning around and coming back and sniffing on the way back, here's something we can do. Let's turn to our right, move forward five, and then turn right again and move forward all the way, which would be let's turn first, turn minus 90, move forward 25, and then let's repeat this whole thing in another repeat out here. So repeat, I'm going to repeat it five times. So we can take this whole thing and put it inside this repeat. So five times we wanted to repeat 
sniffing forward, turn right, move forward five, turn right, come all the way. And then we have to do one more instruction here. We have to turn it around 180. So it goes back because it's going to come facing this way. We want it to turn around and then go back. Let's see how that looks. So I'm going to start over, return to start. And we're going to tell it to go. Let's make it go faster. So that's it. It was done. So essentially what we did, let's go back and take a look at it. We used a repeat inside of a repeat. So you don't have to repeat all the code. And this is not the only way to do it. There are other ways to do it, perhaps. And you could try different ways. But the goal is to use a repeat ins inside of a repeat to um, essentially traverse this numerous times. And so if you go back and take a look at your Easter eggs, three, it follows a similar pattern. So now you see you have to traverse all of these barriers and hit the crosses. So if you look at the instructions, it says pass over all the blue crosses and there is a pattern to it. So if you do one set, then you should be able to repeat that. If you can repeat for these, then you can repeat that set of code four times and you will be able to get to all the crosses.